Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about my journey throughout CRNA school. So last week I did my video going over the C exam. This week I'm gonna be going over um, my semester for recap. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. So I don't know if you've noticed I'm wearing the same thing that I wore last week. That's because I filmed two videos in the same day. Don't mind me, okay? All right, so officially finished out semester four. Um, the C exam was pretty much the last thing that I needed and I'm so glad that I was able to knock that out. I have on my board there all my to-do lists and if you see the C exam is the biggest one because it was the hardest. But anyways, neither here nor there. Let's go over grades. So I took five classes this semester. I took anesthesia roles, business for anesthesia, anesthesia for surgical procedures, the second part, coexisting, the second part, and I took a uh, special population. So anesthesia roles and business, I've mentioned before that that was kind of like, I felt like a fluff class, but you know, it was, um, it was kind of important to learn the life stuff. And I'm also grateful for that class because, you know, it boosts my GPA, but it just gives you some life lessons and they're really helpful because like we went over contracts and you know different uh, scope of practice laws in different states and it just gave me a lot of knowledge as far as um, you know when it comes to the hiring process and I felt like it really helped me. I had an interview actually for um, an anesthesia group and I felt like because of that class I learned a lot from it so I although I was talking really bad about it and how it was a waste of my time I actually do feel like it was beneficial for life stuff Granted, I feel like maybe that would have helped um, getting closer to when you're actually going to start a job. But anyway, neither here nor there, right? So those two classes, it was um, each week we had some sort of lecture, maybe a quiz, maybe some homework, um, a presentation here and there. But pretty much as long as you do the quizzes and the homeworks, you get an A. So in those two classes, I got an A. Um, and then let's get into the nitty gritty anesthesia classes. So um, coexisting diseases, that one... Um, it was anesthesia for coexisting diseases too. So that one, they tied in the C exam to that class and it, the C exam was worth 30% of the class. So if you do the math there, then a lot of the other assignments are weighed a lot less because they have to break down the same amount of stuff in the curriculum just by 70%. So we had care plans that we needed to turn in. We also had Apex workbooks, um, midterm and a final. We also had some quizzes in between just to keep us on our toes. So based on that you know the the amount of assignments that you have each one is worth so little that it, you really can't fail that class because I mean unless you don't pass the C because each one is weighed so little that you know you'll be fine even if you do bad in one section so um I I started off um hitting that class real hard I got an 87 on the midterm Chief Mosa. No, Siri, I'm good, thank you. Why is she listening? So I got an 87 on the midterm for that class. I got an 85 on the first quiz. Um, the second quiz, I didn't do so well. That quiz, I took the, I think the second attempt for the C exam during that week. That's a lie. Why didn't I do so well? Oh, my first attempt. My first attempt for the C exam, I took it right before that quiz, so I wasn't able to even give much time. So I got a 65 on that second quiz. Um, and then the final, I just, I looked and I can't actually see the grade. I can see the final, uh, like, grade for the class, but I can't see the number. I don't know why it's like, it must be blocked from the students, but apparently it, it didn't drop my grade down that much. So I only needed a 41. I don't even know what I got. Hopefully it... <laughs> was more than that. I mean, I think it has to be because I got an A in the class, but um, you know how I always do my spreadsheets. So that one, I knew that I needed a 41. So I didn't study for that class at all. Um, I took the C exam a day after that test. So there you have it. Um, but I got an A in coexisting. So if you do the math, that's three A's so far. Next, I'll talk about surgical procedures. So that class, we had a paper, um, we had a presentation, we had um, pre-class reading assignments. What else? A midterm and a final. I think that's it. But anyways, as far as getting things turned in, I got um, all the um, pre-class learning assignments turned in on time. I got full credit for those. Um, I got a 92 on that midterm and um, my paper was graded, I think I got a 98 on the paper. And um, 
I did the math for that. I needed a, I want to say it was a 71 to maintain an A in the class. Ended up with a 77, so I'm happy about that. That test I took um, right after C exam attempt number two. So I didn't study for that as well. Um, I was focusing more on the C, even though I wasn't really mentally present because of everything that was going on. But um, I mentioned about my mental hardships in the last video. So if you want, go ahead and check that one out and I talk about it a little bit there. But um, I guess I'll talk about it here so you don't have to go watch it. But um, my dog passed away, so I was just not really mentally, physically capable of studying. So um, yeah, so I got a 77 on the final and I got an A in the class. So that's four A's and then the last class, which honestly I am a little bummed about it to say the least. Like I missed it just by a hair. Um, again, that final was right before C attempt number three. So I, I gave it three hours. <laughs> I gave it three hours of time just because that class, the grade was actually weighed a little bit more than the rest. This uh, final was worth 30% of the class. So I was like, you know what? Let me not fail out of this program just because I'm focusing on the C. I wanted to um, put all the classes in the back burner, but this one I was like, maybe not this one. Um, I had gotten an 85 on the midterm. We had Apex Workbooks as Apex workbooks as well. Um, I turned all those in, so really the only grades were the midterm and the final. The midterm, I said I got an 85. I needed an 82 on the final. Unfortunately, I got a 79. So although very close, it got it put me at an 89 in the class, so I got a B. So this semester, got four A's and one B. Passed the C exam in three attempts. That sounds awful, but it is what it is. Sometimes, you know, you just got to grind and get through and you got really got to put in the time for that exam. And I learned that the hard way, but um, I'm really excited because now I am officially, officially, officially done with didactic. Um, we will be having some classes online when we get to the full-time clinical portion. Like after clinicals, we'll have to log in and do some classes online, but it's only the first semester is three classes online and I believe they're gonna have a structure so that we have a class from 6 to 7 p.m. on like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or something like that. So um, we're gonna be doing doctoral project stuff, like working on the, the real research um, that we're gonna be doing for our doctoral project. And um, I think one more like leadership class we have coming up, um, some other things like that. But really as far as the content the anesthesia heavy material i am officially done with that um you know it was really uh like something that i had been looking forward to for a long time i know now the next part is just going to be a different kind of hard and i don't know if i'm exactly mentally physically able to like comprehend the level of exhaustion that i'm going to be feeling in the next 16 months but this is what i signed up for i'm i'm ready for it you know like going to clinicals 32 hours a week and waking up at the crack of dawn to be there at the first case of the day it's just like i'm i'm grateful that i'm here already i've talked about you know semester four ending semester four where, where's the end of semester four and it's here i just feel like you know time flies and you don't even notice it and once you once i'm starting to grind i feel like it's just going to be an easy day-by-day -day process that just flies by but you know it will be a different kind of hard and i'm ready for it but like at the same time, I'm not, <laughs> but I'm glad that I was able to finish out the semester as good as I did. Um, my, my, I think my GPA for the, for the semester was a 3.8. I'm, I can't remember right now. I don't, I had the math there, but I don't remember. Um, and that leaves my overall GPA for the program at a 3.73. And although it's not a 4.0, I feel like as far as the hard stuff, this is really it from here. So out of 90 credits, I've finished 57. So it's just kind of finishing the back end and finishing strong. And I'm excited to get there. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really all I have to say for this video. Um, I might do an end of didactic reflection. I'm not sure because I kind of feel like this is it. Like I don't really have any more to talk about as far as didactic and you know moving forward from here i do want to mention about in the future kind of talking about putting it all together because i feel like i have such a disconnect when it comes to 
the conceptual knowledge going into the actual like tactile physical kinesthetic learning that I will be doing when I get to clinical so right now it just doesn't feel like it's all there like connecting and I just hope that I will be able to get there I mean a lot of the professors say that that's normal um, but I just want to make sure that I hit that hard and reiterate it to you guys to make sure that you know that if you feel like you're lost in your program because you're in a front-loaded program and you don't know what you're gonna be getting into that you know I just want to elaborate what you're gonna be getting into so that's what you have to look forward to from me um i'm sorry that i was on a little hiatus i kind of had to like self-reflect on what was going on around me um the the c exam not passing the c exam um twice really killed my confidence um just you know all of the above is just it, it, it the way that i work in this <laughs> screwed up little noggin here is like i beat myself up the hardest so when things go astray or wrong or not in my favor you know i start all the negative thoughts come in and it's really really hard to get out of that headspace um but you know i was able to persevere and i was able to push forward and i just wanted you to know that it can be done <laughs> that i'm still i'm still grinding i'm still pushing forward um i feel like you know the way that the amount of effort and things that i put in for the c exam really reflected on you know my scores um i talk about my scores in last week's video so go ahead and check that out um, but anyways, that's really all I have to say for the end of didactic and the end of semester four. I'm grateful for all of you guys for following along on my journey and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.